Hi everybody. Uh, this is uh, video two uh, in the theater arts uh, performance uh, presentations that you can be uh, working on in isolation. Uh, I hope everyone is had a good weekend and things are going well. Uh, we're going to do a project uh, called uh, creating vocal collages this week. It's a, it's a type of theater devising that we've never really done too much of, but it is uh, one that's fairly popular uh, with other groups. And they use source material uh, to explore a theme, and they create it in a theatrical way. So on the exercise sheet that I've posted in the assignment section, um, there's a list of things that you are supposed to uh, find uh, to use as your um, your source material for your presentation. So you have to pick a theme or a topic, and the theme or the topic, the things that must be included are a definition, a list of synonyms or related words, a famous quote or a saying uh, concerning the subject, a poem or a limerick, and that is a poem or a limerick that you can write yourself or you can uh, find uh, on the internet or in a poetry book or whatever. Uh, a line or a section from a play written by Shakespeare. Uh, that might be, that's pretty specific. Uh, but if you quote, if you Google bravery and Shakespeare, there's probably something uh, that you can find. Or you can use a quote from any play. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Shakespeare play. Uh, a tongue twister, also one you can find or one you can write yourself. Uh, a selection of prose from a novel or a film, so that would be a quote or uh, a, a few lines from a play, or sorry, from a movie or from a, from a novel. A selection of prose from a nonfiction work, so that could be a blog or that could be a um, newspaper article or it could be some, so just some sort of nonfiction piece. A selection from a song and then some sound effects uh, that you that you create yourself. So you take all these ideas, all these quotes, and you sort of mash them together. You take parts of it and you uh, try to create a uh, a, th a theater piece that is uh, that is a, a vocal selection. Uh, so you can present it in three or four different ways. One way is to just sort of use the the the. Uh, the example that's provided with the assignment, if you if you scroll down on the second page, is figure 1.7, and there's like on one column it says the source material, and in the right hand column is the script that uh, was created from it. So you can present it that way uh, as a written piece. Uh, you could also uh, present it in a video format where you write it and you just present it to the camera like this. Another thing you could do that could be kind of interesting, uh, a lot of uh, theater companies are using projection and video uh, in their uh, presentations now. Uh, so maybe imagine you present the, uh, the piece vocally and you have images on your screen. So what you would do is you would present some sort of like slideshow that you would imagine would be back projected against you if you were performing it on, on stage. So maybe kind of like an atmospheric or uh, sort of images or sounds that could help uh, magnify the performance. And the other thing, uh, you could also do it with a partner if you have um, someone that you wanna work with, either in your bubble or it could be somebody that's work, you're working remotely and you could collaborate on the presentation and the creation of the project. It could be fun to take uh, two topics or two subjects that are opposite, you know, like love and hate, and one of you do love, one of you do hate, and you could like mash it together and make it a performance piece. But yeah, just play around with it. it you know, in a lot of ways, it's probably almost like a found spoken word poem that you're creating. And again, you can cut and, 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 and rearrange any of the source material you want to sort of make it your own. And again, don't be afraid to throw in some original original stuff too, but I do want you to, to use uh, other source materials. The piece should be, you know, between two and four minutes, kind of the same uh, length that we would use if we were in class. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to email me or post on the, uh, on the on the message board 
And uh, yeah, that's this week's assignment. I'll also put uh, a list of topics or subjects that you could that you can choose from. You can make up your own. You don't have to use one of those subjects. And yeah, just have fun with it. Just make some. Just make. Uh, just make a, a vocal collage using language, and think of it as a sound uh, sort of piece of theater, and like almost like I said before, like a spoken word poem, uh, and play around with sound and repetition and how you're going to actually uh, present it. So uh, good luck with this week's uh, performance. If you are somebody in Theater Arts 12.0 or Advanced Theater Arts 12.0 and you are wishing to complete the credit, this is the first uh, project that's mandatory. So if you want the credit, you have to do this assignment. If you're just doing uh, assignments for fun, you can choose to do it or not. It's up to you. Anyway, uh, take care and I'll see you uh, the next or you'll see me the next time I post a video and uh, take care and sorry that this was a little longer than the last one. I got a little rambly and it's getting longer because I'm continuing to ramble. But anyway, have a good week. Make some theater. Be creative. Have fun. Take care.